that'd be fantastic. Thank you very much, yeah? In today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much... today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favourite topic, I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origins, it's so present everywhere we go now. Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device. Whether I'll start the briefing whenever you're ready. Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project. But their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new microdrone, something my contact told me about. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To bypass Titus security? Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them. 
means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot were a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. In today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favourite topic. I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's oh, something you can forget back. about its origins. It's so You're coming up on the Albion drone facility where the micro drone is being developed. So cool. Going to be worth the effort. It will be. You're going to need to disable the security system protecting the R&D lab. Security's down in the R&D lab. The plans for the microdrome will be in there somewhere.
I've downloaded the schematics. You can leave whenever you like. Keep it up! Your teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London Reds really gotten that bad? My god, how embarrassing. I suppose that now that we have the schematics, we can make micro drones of our very own. Better move fast on that, Bags. We need to get into Tidus ASAP. Shut down Project Famous before Nigel decides to launch. And with what he was saying, we don't have much time. I found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. to fight let's do it coming up 
In today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favourite topic. I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origins. It's so present everywhere we go now. Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device. Whether you're using the optic, Bagley will be there. The AI is streamed to your optic from Bloom Central Command Center, and it was first created by Skylass, an art tech hero, as part of her techno-utopian idea for the world. Why do you think it grew so quickly? In my mind, it's no surprise that Bagley became so popular. It's funny, useful, fast. It's a great companion and really just makes life so much easier. I mean, when you look back at all the service AIs that used to exist, they just can't compete. When you ask Bagley anything, there's a quick answer and loads of information available to you. One day, I let Bagley answer all of my messages for a whole 24 hours and no one even noticed the difference. The other competitors really just couldn't compete with Bagley. Their answers were so much worse, they didn't understand anything, and Bagley pretty much gets everything right first time. Do you have any idea why Bagley really beat all the competition? Well, it's really the data, isn't it? Ever since Broker hooked up with Bloom, that's when things changed. And really, that's not actually that great. Bloom has data on everybody. They collect information about everything you're doing across the web through your operating We've successfully trialled our first micro drone, and it's officially as cute as the Dickens. I've decided to name it Sebastian. Time to break into Titus. And take away Nigel Cass's newest toy, Project Themis. Bagley, any idea where that name comes from? Greek mythology. Themis was the goddess of divine justice. You know, the one with the sword. Ooh, that is so Nigel fucking Cass. See, school's useful for something besides social maladjustment. Find the schematics of the building and I'll work out the location of the Themis project. Have you looked at the Themis brief, Mum? Yes, I looked at it before I assigned you to the project. I am quite familiar with what it entails. You must see the ethical implications of this. Themis violates half a dozen laws at least. Those laws don't apply anymore. Or haven't you been paying attention? We're functioning under martial law here. No. Themis is more than just martial law. It's a guillotine waiting to come down on everyone. Look, you have two options. You can do your job, or you can lose your job. Pick one.
Look round for anything named Themis. I've got this. Well, if I was hiding a top-secret, morally dubious drone project like Themis, I would put it in the secure vault on the lowest level. You will have to hack your way past some pretty serious security, however. The elevator that leads to the secure vault that houses Themis is locked down. You will have to access the bypass terminal to use it. You will require a spider bot. You'll be using Sebastian and the rest of the microdrones to bypass security. But first you'll have to get by that laser array. I suggest a spider bot and steady nerves. I've got this. but it is an important one. Right now, we devote countless hours to intelligence gathering and still things slip through the cracks. We're doing our best, you tell me. We are, but our best isn't good enough. <sighs> that doesn't sound... But even we aren't perfect yet. Yeah, no like that. That strikes a humble note. We make errors in judgment. That's human nature, but we cannot afford errors. We are the last resort to protect the people. Project Demis will dispense justice and protection. It will use data to predict the patterns of crime and abuse. It will let us transcend the faults in our own nature. Oh, bad. Yeah, there are questions, of course, which is fair. It's an extreme measure, and there is potential for abuse, but uh, this is what London needs.
All right, Sebastian, this is what you and your friends have been training for. Time to crash the security grid for Daddy. I've been waiting to see what this micro drone can do. That's the spirit. She'll be pretty sick. Right then, no time for tears. Meet Sebastian, another of our countless microdrone allies. All names Sebastian, of course. You can't iterate on perfection.
cause. Destroy them, Sebastian. And for God's sake, be careful. Let's ruin Nigel's fucking day! London. Once a beacon of civility, now a cesspool of lawlessness. It is clear that humanity can no longer police itself. Fortunately, we don't have to. Welcome to Project Themis. Albion has found a way to apply an existing system, LifeScore, a data aggregator of biometrics, personal information, to our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. <laughs> the Miss Drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. score algorithm my algorithm i should have scrubbed it before i left what do you mean hamish you know how famous works no fam well yeah this was years ago we were developing a life score algorithm for what cas called a peacekeeping system supposed to identify vulnerable civilians not target them fucking hell so in theory famous could be programmed to target anyone based on any number of parameters Exactly. That's the way Cass thinks. Genius, but twisted. We have to stop this. And I know how. We delete the life score data, and Themis is done. Gah, fuck. Fine. Done. Yes, we'll have the award ceremony another time. Get out now. This may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. No, no more excuses. This is my city, and I will not have DedSec ruin my plans for it. Themis was poised to change London, the world. And this group of... Hamish fucking Balaji? I want them all! They made you all look like fools! They walked calmly into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So do any of you have anything to say? Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be revetted immediately. Sorry about that, Someone mate. help them. That's certain. And we will root them out. This time, we will get them all. Well, that's about done it. 
cuss is gonna steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You did it. Oi, come on, man. We couldn't have done it without you, and you know it. What do you say we keep this collaboration going on, yeah? Cass is still pulling the strings. Uh, not much of a joiner, fam. Considering how my days at Albion ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember them? Completely gutted DeadSec 1.0. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings. So we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. Bagley pretty much gets everything right first time. Do you have any idea why Bagley really beat all the competition? Well, it's really the data, isn't it? Ever since Broker hooked up with Bloom, that's where... In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi's down or something. Oh, is that relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke or you'd just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. It's basically a huge database that's used to... Teach the AI about patterns in behavior. You know, so if you always travel the same way to your house, it can predict when you're going to go and get a self-driving car ready for you before you even ask for it. That's pretty terrifying. It's... I've been monitoring the drone network. Mary Kelly has finally sent out the invitations to her slave market sale. Dedzek, scale in Lao. This is your specialty. Hack one of those drones and get the location where she's selling those poor microchipped people. Let's put an end to this. Well, that was simple, even for you. Give me a moment to decipher the security codes. So, Bagley, what do you have? Mary Kelly is holding her sale at Hackney Bar. Opened in 1904, it was, as the name implies, a public sanitation facility. In today's more likely modern times, it's a slave trading market. She mentioned foreign investors, so this is big. It means associates, clients, employees, anyone remotely involved in her organization. We're taking Mary Kelly down from within. Inspector Lau wants to take her case against Mary Kelly to a contact in the Attorney General's yeah, office. Which means episode. gathering as much data as we can to make sure it has the leverage needed for them to prosecute. The microchips are a huge part of this equation that we know almost nothing about. We need something tangible about these things. See if you can find anything. Blueprints, receipts, samples. So, the plan is simple. Crash the Kelly's soiree, find out as much as you can, and, minor detail, try not to get killed. Can't be too careful at the bath team. Mary can kill all her captives with the push of a button. If we try to free them now, they're good as dead. She doesn't know we're on to her yet. That gives us the advantage.
negative. Suspect is gone. Issue an APW. Just blunder in, hack the building CTOS hub and see what to expect once you're inside. Solid plan. Connected. Get all the names, places, dates, whatever information you can in there. We need to build this case. And find a way to free those people. I'll see what I can find. Hey, no one's here yet. Good thing, too. The champagne's late. If you know how these rich bastards are like, plonk. Weaned off the teeth with it. Yeah, products primed and ready for sale. No worries. Nah, she ain't. Not for this lot, at least, which is fine with me. She's the boss and all, but, uh, Exactly. <laughs> Always on eggshells when she's around. Oh, bound to be bloody, too. Come on, look at the camera. Straight. Right, that's good. Stand up now. And slowly turn around. I, I, I don't want to do this. Please. Get your fucking ass up. Fucking miserable. There's no way this bastard will sell. The buyers expect high quality stuff. All right then, get him downstairs. We'll update the catalogue and put his stats no, online. No, I'm sorry. I'll do what you say. Don't take me there, no! Shut the fuck up! Shit. What the fuck? Let's have a look. Chances are good the basement will be locked. Chances are equally good that one of these knobheads left their access codes laying around somewhere. Thanks for the cellar key, knobhead. Brilliant.
Oh, this is just beyond, man. Darling, let's go have some bubbly and maybe buy ourselves a servant. It's fucking sickening. Keep your head. If we try anything before disabling the microchips, Mary Kelly is liable to purge her inventory. Add decades with a new part. Kidney. This is the golden goose. Mary Kelly set up a fucking online marketplace for, for the darkest shit. Human trafficking, black market organs, guns. Gotta put a stop to this, mate. I suggest washing your hands after this. Well, here's something interesting. Miss Kelly, why is our explosive shipment delayed? You've received crypto. Every penny, now. Must admit, I thought you were some trolls chatting shit in Mum's basement. And what do you think now? I think you're well-funded. And my organisation could be implicated in something quite ghastly. I think the price just doubled. True to your reputation. <laughs> but we can offer you something more valuable than money. <laughs> What's that then? Power. We can make you the Queen of London. Queen, eh? A queen is sovereign. Autonomous. Unchecked. Release our shipment. And London will be yours to rule. Well, I know a good deal when I hear one. Fireworks are on the way. Careful you don't burn yourselves now. This is the nail in her coffin. Mary Kelly supplied the explosives for the bombings. Add that to the slaves and the organ market. She is done. That's an interesting turn of events. So Mary isn't Zero Day, but she's involved. I have to admit, Zero Day's plan to cover their tracks was clever, and it worked. Even I didn't suspect this, and I suspect a lot of things. Let's not lose sight of what we're doing here. We need everything on the Golden Goose for Caitlin's case. Bagley, were you able to recover any data? This is a simple market site. I've recovered inventory lists, but not much that will help Inspector Lau's case. Bags, find the website servers. We'll get the info Caitlin needs from there and then shut this whole pissing thing down before it goes back online. I'd love to, but the servers are rudely jumping all over the world. They're probably using a shuffle protocol or some kind of mix net. I can work it out, obviously, but it will take me a few days. Our gracious host upstairs. He'll know something.
instincts. I've got coordinates for the Golden Goose servers, and as a bonus, the microchip control relay. Both are at Neogate. Nice bags. We need that server data. Once we have it, I'll take it to the Attorney General's office. Mary Kelly is going down for all of this. Well, sure, but we're still going to destroy the servers, though. And that microchip relay thing. I mean, you yeah, yeah, evidence and shit are important, but so is freeing the people with one of those chips. Next stop, Neogate. It seems Mary hit the Golden Goose service in the heart of a cybersecurity software company. I don't condone her actions, but I must applaud the method. Everywhere we go now, Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device, whether you're using the optic. Bagley will be there. The AI is streamed to your optic from Blooms. Central Command Center, and it was first created by Skylas and our tech hero as part. Got a potential recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. In my mind, it's no surprise that Bagley became so popular. It's funny, useful, fast. It's a great companion and really just makes life so much easier. I mean, when you look back at all the service AIs that used to exist, they just can't compete. When you ask Bagley anything, there's a quick answer and loads of information available to you. One day, I let Bagley answer all of my messages for a whole 24 hours and no one even noticed the difference. The other competitors really just couldn't compete with Bagley. Their answers were so much worse, they didn't understand anything, and Bagley pretty much gets everything right first time. Do you have any idea why Bagley really beat all the competition? Well, it's really the data, isn't it? Ever since Broker hooked up with Bloom, that's when things changed. And really, that's not actually that great. Bloom has data on everybody. They collect information about everything you're doing across the web through your optic headset. Isn't the AI only good because of Bloom surveillance? Well, I suppose so, but I prefer not to talk about that side of things. Bagley is so special because it's been trained on this huge cache of information. That's how these AI systems work, or at least used to work. I mean, we don't really know that much about the latest version because there's so much secrecy around the tech. But they're given this huge amount of training data. It's basically a huge database that's used to teach the AI about patterns in behavior. You know, so if you always travel the same way to your house, it can predict when you're going to go and get a close going to Everyone deserves a home. Bit of a wank stain, aren't you? No. No, listen. Let's wait around. A potential recruit's competitor is nearby. You could sabotage them by hacking their work emails. Hey, I just found someone high up in Clan Kelly. What are the odds that we could turn them? Fuck you and your badge. I've unlocked full access to the competitors' work emails. I bet our prospect will be happy to get their hands on that. By the way, I have some exciting news about the man you just helped. What's up with him, Bagley? He's an activist who's been trying to gather intel on Albion personnel movements through the city. Looks like he wants to stay one step ahead of the goons. Smart. I say we help him out. It could be useful to us. Understood. The easiest way to obtain the data would be to steal an Albion heavy assault vehicle and dissect it on board Satnav. That would give us a clear picture of Albion's recent movements. All right, I'll give it my best. 
wants to conquer London. Pretty much my favourite topic. I could talk for hours about the rock. Rise of the AI system. Is he? Now what? I can confirm that the onboard hard drive contains all the data our friend could need, pushing you a suitable drop-off point. On my way. His friend has come to collect the vehicle. Let's go talk to him. Idiots. Shit, man. When I heard your AI tell me to expect the data delivery, this is not what I expected. Yeah, sorry. Bagley ain't always the most detail-oriented. Once you pull that hard drive, you'll thank us. Pat with Albion data, innit? That's for sure. With this data, we can stay ahead of all Albion assholes. If you want my help ever, you only have to ask. I know this can sound crazy and all, but I think you'd fit right in with DedSec. Yeah? OK, yes, let's do it. Nice to welcome another tough nut to the crew. Strength and unity, right? I'm ready to stir up the shit with you. Fuck yeah. I don't want to get involved. Yeah, of course. Don't be like you can I think I'm naturally good at this. Coming up 
In today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favourite topic, I could talk for hours. about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origins. It's so present everywhere we go now. Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device. Whether you're using the optic, Bagley will be there. The AI is streamed to your optic from Bloom Central Command Center, and it was first created by Sky Larson, our tech hero, as part of her techno-utopian idea for the world. Why do you think it grew so quickly? In my mind, it's no surprise that Bagley became so popular. It's funny, useful, fast. It's a great companion and really just makes life so much easier. I mean, when you look back at all the service AIs that used to exist, they just can't compete. When you ask Bagley anything, there's a quick answer and loads of information available to you. One day, I let Bagley answer all of my messages for a whole 24 hours and no one even noticed the difference. The other competitors really just couldn't compete with Bagley. Their answers were so much worse, they didn't understand anything. And Bagley pretty much gets everything right first time. Do you have any idea why Bagley really beat all the competition? Well, it's really the data, isn't it? Ever since Broker hooked up with Blue that's when things changed. And really, that's not actually that great. Bloom has data on everybody. They collect information about everything you're doing across the world through your optic headset. Okay, I'm here. Neogate hasn't been around for long, but they're leading the antivirus market. I bet the Kellys have something to do with this growing success. Regardless, we're about to destroy all of it. Listen, I want that as bad as you do. But let's gather all the evidence we can before blowing it up. This is what we've been chasing after this whole time. I suggest hacking the camera network to see what's what. These feeds are from a sub-basement under the server room. Anyone up for some light entertainment? You see, it contains a chemical cocktail. Botulinum. Conotoxin. Succinicolium. Well, why are we going with the specifics if you wouldn't even understand? Let's just say it took a lot of trial and error to get the mix right. Wouldn't want the killing too quickly or contaminating the organs. Oh my god. This is where they implant the microchips. Test them. Bagley, capture all this footage. It's all going into my case file. Here's another. I'm glad to see they're trying to keep things sterile. Don't want to risk infection. One more. At issue are the strong convulsions triggered by the microchips and concern over the possibility of damaging the valuable merchandise, the eyes being the most vulnerable. Initial findings indicate that the microcharge may be the problem. Although the damage to the lower stem is minimal, it is enough to trigger strong convulsions in approximately okay, 34 cases. Okay, Bagley, that's enough. Cases. Let's do something about this. There's a special place in hell for all the people involved in this operation. You've got all the Golden Goose data along with this footage. Plus, you have her conspiring in the bombings. That must be enough to put Mary away. I hope so. Now, how about blowing that shit up and disabling those microchips? Fuck yes, yes. I don't 
want to miss this. Audio log number 147. The date is November the 4th, 2023. We received a shipment last week of what is said to be the latest technological advancements in solar panels. What's really of note is the overwhelming amount of energy they're capable of generating. I'm still not entirely sure what they are for or their purpose, but I have an idea. There have been rumors circulating about some of the activities going on in the building, but our superiors discourage any questions. I don't believe It's open. Well done. Kill is an operational on ice. Let's blow some shit up.
the microchips are no longer functioning. I think Kenny's golden goose is cooked. Bagley, your jokes are not a party. Just leave the area before the same thing happens to you, all right? Time to pick up where your teammate left off. I'm sure they'll thank you once they stop eating through a tube. Great to know. I certainly don't want to end up in a hospital too. We have enough, DedSec. I'm going to my contact in the Attorney General's office right now. No time to waste. Mary Kelly is finally going down. Thanks. Don't let us down, Caitlin. That's good for Caitlin, but shouldn't we do something about all the people that still have chips in them? Any second now, Mary Kelly is going to realize that her personal slaves are no longer slaves and more like potential witnesses. We should apprehend her before she turns them into definite corpses. We can't risk that happening. It might throw a spanner in Caitlin's plans. But we need to help those last few people she's threatening. The Kelly stronghold is at the Sandstone residence. I've marked it on your map. It's so present everywhere we go. Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device. Whether you're using the optic, Bagley will be there. The AI is streamed to your optic from Bloom Central Command Center, and it was first created by Skylas and our tech hero as part of her techno utopian idea for the world. Why do you think it grew so quickly? If There's a potential recruit you may want to check out. Pushing your location. It's a great companion and really just makes life so much easier. I mean, when you look back at all the service AIs that used to exist, they just can't compete. When you ask Bagley anything, there's a quick answer and loads of information available to you. One day, I let Bagley answer all of my messages for a whole 24 hours and no one even noticed the difference. The other competitors really just couldn't compete with Bagley. Their answers were so much worse, they didn't understand anything, and Bagley pretty much gets everything right first. You can clear a potential recruit's arrest warrant from a nearby terminal. And really, that's not actually that great. Bloom has data on everybody. They collect information about everything you're doing across the web through your office data. Oh, God. Drone with me. You're around before. Surrender.
Soon, perform a search. Nothing out of the ordinary here. You can clear the warrants from there. Engaging hostile target. Well done. Our potential recruit is now officially off London's most wanted list. Some exciting news about the man you just helped. I'm on the target now. Drone, initiate search. What's up with him, Bagley? Albion's been following him around like an amorous teenager who thinks persistence is a replacement for personality. They're raiding all the locations in his recent GPS history. My curiosity has peaked. DedSec might want to investigate. Got it. I've tracked down an officer who was at the most recent raid. You can scrape their optic for intel. Trail's gone cold. Let's regroup. listening mode. Must have skipped counter-surveillance day in fascist school. They might have recorded something about our prospect. Right. I'll get you that data. That is the fucking question. What endorsing the crime that sprung up in the city? Or the punters going on about it?
talk about armed and dangerous. Found them. to lockdown. Just as I thought. Take a listen to this. You find the drugs cash? It was right where you said. Aren't we lucky? Told you not to worry. We've got that asset over a barrel. The goods will always be where they need to be. Is that what passes for coded language with these thick twats? Anyway, it looks like the man we're after isn't being hunted by Albion after all. He's planting evidence for them. Let's go talk to him. Bagley, broker a meeting. something are you really planting evidence for albion because if you are i've got your name spelled out on my knuckles you have no idea what's going on here albion's got some proper dirt on me man if i don't do what they say my life is over so what if someone made that dirt disappear but if you could break into albion and wipe their service hey you could do that you'd be my g for life but you can't do that i'll say we help him out could be useful to us Albion stores sensitive data like this on air-gapped servers, so zeroing those hard drives will solve this problem and put an end to this whole evidence planting scheme. Okay, excellent. Send me the coordinates.
this is a secure Albion facility, so you can access the blackmail material they have on our friend by hacking the on-site servers. Access the blackmail material Albion has on our friend from this server. Security's onto you. They're sending some goons your way.
seems like Albion had very clear CCTV footage of our prospects sticking up a betting shop. Emphasis on had, because it's gone now. They'll have to find someone else to plant their false evidence. Nice bags. Let's hit him with the good news. Dead sec here. We got rid of all the evidence Albion had on you. You're free and clear. Hey, you saw me rip off that book, you did. Shame for what I did, not gonna lie. Well, thank you for helping me anyway. How can I pay you back? I know this can sound crazy and all, but I think you fit right in with Dead Sec. Yeah? Yeah, why not? I'm in. What does it mean? How can we look at Nice to welcome another tough nut to the crew. Strength and unity, right? Damn right. Man's ready to tear it up. Brilliant. Mary's possibly going on a rampage of cleaning house, and she still has control over the microchips in her vicinity. We need to disable them from her security system, if we don't want all the hell to die. Yeah, got it. I don't know what the fuck happened, all right? Servers went kabooey. What reparations are we for? That's why she asked for all of them to go up on stairs. She's going to liquidate, isn't she? think there's a chance to you what of them fighting back rising up against their oppressors or some shite 
Not likely. Ain't desperate enough, right? Might get desperate real fast if she starts in on them with that optic. Nah. She broke them. Got no will. She can shut them down one by one and they won't blink. Like cattle. Sorry! Nothing here. I'll check another area.
Fuck yes. Boom. Yo, check this out, fam. Come on, scum! Shit, boy! Bring it on, then! Fuck, come! Peter! Fucking fuck! Right. Well, at least the chips are disabled. Mary has sealed herself in her office downstairs, but the mainframe will repower the elevator. Oh, and guards are on the lookout, so do try to survive. Ah, oh, fucking brill. Stay near the mainframe long enough so I can reactivate the lift to Mary's office. Shit, don't work. I'm in my office. Come exterminate the vermin. doing over there we had a deal we do this my way that's why we gathered all that proof i have the paperwork we need is your paperwork going to stop her killing her slaves the woman's a mad dog lao we don't have time to fucking discuss this again get in there and stop her from doing anything drastic i'm on my way
Come on then. I don't need no fucking microchip to gut you, filthy bastards. Oh. <laughs> Is it? At least your timing's good. Shut up! Cops are coming for you! Oh, I am counting on it, love. Everyone freeze! Back away from her. Mary Kelly, you're under arrest. Take me in, Inspector. I throw myself on the mercy of the bleeding court. But don't plan on me staying around very long. You lot! I gave you purpose when this city spit you out! We'll be seeing each other again very soon. Stop! You don't think she's gonna let you scum take her white whale? Who are you protecting? The system or the people? Promise us. Promise us. She won't go free. Well, Dudzek, you got your wish. Mary won't be walking away from this or anything else. I wanted to do this the right way, but after everything I've seen, I... Uh, I guess I couldn't let her live. She had it coming, Lau. And it's all she deserved. For the lives she destroyed. For Angel. You did the right thing. I fucked Mary Kelly. There's no way she'd get justice the way things are right now. She got what she deserved. I don't know. That was some version of justice, but not mine. At least, I didn't think it was when we started all of this. Well, the Queen may be dead, but there are plenty of Tan Kelly peons willing to take up the mantle. You're right about that, Bagley. I will keep my ear to the ground. I hear about more Clan Kelly shenanigans, you'll be the first to know. You're good partners, DedSec. Let's keep it going. Why don't you do something better with your life? 